Hey, Michael Levine here, and uh, today got in a package from Lilly, California, so a company that claims to manufacture all the uh, garments in California, although I do believe that they're buying their fabrics from Asia and importing them. Uh, but nevertheless, made in USA, so um, kudos for them for that. Um, I have a t-shirt and a short in here. The t-shirt, um, kind of expensive, but like I said, so you pay uh, for these unique companies to uh, be able to produce these smaller quantities. Um, so anyways, a uh, t-shirt and a golf short, so let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, so here's a t-shirt. Oops, there you go. A uh, small logo on the front, um, heat seal and neck, neck taping. Uh, this is an inset sleeve. Uh, there is no tape going across the shoulder seam, but it is top stitched down at least um, and top stitched around the arm also. We talked about this in our hunt for the uh, perfect t-shirt. So this one has a lot of the uh, qualities that I look for. Um, let's check it out here as far as fabric content. Okay. 62% uh, polyester, 33% cotton, and 5% spandex. Made in USA of imported fabrics, as I suspected. Machine wash cold with light colors, turn inside out, non chlorine bleach when needed and tumble dry low. Um, so anyways, here we have, this is a poly rich product. So polyester is a synthetic material uh, made from alcohol, sugars, and uh, acid. And um, we'll talk about that more in a minute. Uh, polyester is what we call easy care because it tends to be heat set and want to hold its shape. So it's gonna stay flat and not wrinkle. Um, so also, one of the unique features about polyester is it's very difficult to dye. It takes a class of dyes called dispersed dyes. Um, when you dye it, when it's blended with cotton, you have to dye the polyester and the cotton uh, separately. Um, they do use different dye stuff, so it's very difficult to match and make it look like a solid color. Um, you'll see a lot of shirts, even like the one I'm wearing, uh, with, that look heathered. Um, heather is basically achieved this way. So anyways, polyester, difficult to dye. That's why they call it stain resistant because it just doesn't, doesn't like to hold on to color. Um, but it is blended with cotton, so and the cotton will stain, so yeah, it is a 100% carefree. Um, so anyways, that's the shirt. There we go. Here's the short. Nice short, about knee length, um, taped inside waistband, uh, four pockets, uh, no buttons on the back pockets, which is fine. Um, little rubber heat seal type logo there. Um, label in the waistband says made in California. And let's see. 86% polyester, 90% uh, no, I'm sorry, 86% polyester, 14% spandex, um, and then the washing instructions should be very similar to that of a T-shirt. These labels are sticking together. It's like a cellophane kind of see-through label. Uh, machine wash cold with light colors, non-chlorine bleach when needed. Tumble dry low. So. Fairly easy care, uh, polyester rich, and uh, we'll try them on and then we'll sum things up. Uh, so stick around. Oh, I did, I don't know if I quoted you the price. So the t-shirt was $50, the shorts were 80, right? Okay, so I just wanna look at these real quick before um, we go too far. So positives, metal zipper, metal button, Piping on the band. Um, this is like a stretch pocketing mesh. Well pocket, no button button hole in the back on either side. 
top stitch side seam. Gusset, I don't know if we can see that here. Gusseted crotch, top stitch inseam, top stitched all the way around. Uh, just uh, a lot of thought went into the garment. Um, this is a straight buttonhole, which is interesting. Usually uh, we make today, it looks like a keyhole buttonhole where it gets round on the top, kind of fitted for the button. Um, not good or bad, just uh, that's just what they chose to do. Piping on fly, both sides. So that's nice and clean. Um, and uh, not much else. Pretty much your standard make. Just every seam is top stitch, including the crotch. Um, it is a four-way stretch, so it stretches in the length as well as in the width. And uh, let's take a couple quick measurements and then we'll check out the t-shirt. Okay, this is a size 34. And the waist is measuring actually uh, 36 and a half. Uh, so uh, that's what we call vanity sizing. And then the inseam. 10 and a half. Okay, so we'll check those out after wash. Right. One more time. 10 and a half. 36 and a half. Okay. And now the t-shirt. Oh, t-shirt. Heat seal lay, low, uh, label in the neck. Taping across the back. Usually I like to see this taping go across the shoulder seam. It didn't, but they did top stitch the shoulder seam. So uh, that's almost as good, if not similar. All right. Um, so top stitch shoulder seams important. Inset sleeve with top stitching. Uh, side seam of the shirt as well is top stitched. I don't know if that's coming through. Um, right. Heat seal logo on the uh, upper left chest. And uh, basically that's it. Nicely done cover stitch on the hems and the sleeves. So let's check two measurements here. And then uh, we'll check it again after wash. So this is an extra large. So what I'm um, right here. Hmm. So 45 chest, which I would say for standard extra large, it might be a little smaller than I expected. Not a lot smaller. And I guess it's just the company's choice. And then center back length 29. So 45, 29. All right, then we'll check them after wash again. Okay, the garments are out of the dryer. Here they are. And uh, you can see very smooth in appearance. Um, and that's just the polyester holding the shape of the garment. So let's see. Um, the center back length on this shirt was 29 before wash. So 28 and three quarters. So we're fairly stable, at least in the length. Check the chest. So our chest was 45. And here we seem to have lost a little bit. right at 44 so we lost an inch so about a half a percent or a five percent shrinkage um, not terrible and let's check the short so the short we had 
a waist measurement of 36 and a half before wash and you can see also the appearance coming out of the dryer this was an iron untouched it's just perfectly smooth 100% uh, or almost 100% polyester poly spandex um, the waist is 36 so half inch so really nothing as far as shrinkage the inseam was 10 and a half and we're at 10 and a quarter and yeah 10 and a half still so I would say that we had virtually no shrinkage on um, on either piece definitely well within uh, an acceptable tolerance so let me switch back to the front facing camera and uh, we'll sum things up so good shrinkage um, overall great appearance I would say this is a, a nice quality garment uh, you have to decide about the price if uh, how it works for you but very comfortable uh, I like the stretch in the fabric both in the short and the top um, polyester rich polyester also known as PET or polyethylene tariff uh, phthalate um, basically it's a plastic material made from sugar alcohol and combining it with acid um, the most common form of polyester is not biodegradable so not great for the environment although there are versions that are natural and are biodegradable those are not really the types that are used in clothing at least not yet uh, polyester is very difficult to dye it requires a type of dye called dispersed dyes um, dispersed dyes have to be um, applied in, under high heat and pressure in order to get them to adhere to the polyester receptors uh, for the same reason polyester doesn't accept color well um, it also doesn't accept stains so it's fairly stain resistant at least under normal conditions um, polyester was originally um, invented going back in the early 1900s uh, a scientist working for DuPont Wallace Crothers uh, was cre was credited for developing nylon first uh, in 1935 which is very similar process for creating polyester matter of fact he left that groundwork done uh, but it was picked up and finished in 1941 by and patented by two British uh, chemists working for a company called um, the Imperial Chemical Industry and uh, DuPont who where Crothers worked later bought uh, polyester process back from them in 1946 uh, these particular garments, the, the shirt and the pant, um, as I mentioned uh, earlier, um, are sold uh, by Willie as odor control and moisture wicking. So they don't mention it on the care label, but you don't want to use softeners with these or you'll hurt the moisture wicking and odor control process. Basically what uh, any type of softener does is it just leaves a silicone base. Silicone is um, water repellent, so it's going to not want to absorb water so or moisture so therefore moisture wicking is going to get nullified um, I can show you real quick I have a little bit of water here and see if I can get close to the camera you can see um, how the, that water drop just goes right in that's moisture wicking anybody who's seen polyester get wet before it usually beads up like a, on a wax car um, and if you use softener, that's what basically happens. This is just a wax coating. So odor control, probably some type of silver iron, uh, oxide or uh, silver iron applied to the fabric. Uh, so bacteria can't live on the surface of the fabric and create the gas that gives off the odor that uh, we associate with sweating and body odor. So uh, both good features. And uh, like I said, don't use softeners or you'll defeat that. Um, if you enjoyed and find this informative, please scoot over there to um, YouTube if you're not watching this on YouTube and uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up, click the notification bell so you get no notified uh, by email that whenever I put out a new video and uh, just leave your comments below. Some people have left me some comments already and they're very helpful. Actually give me direction for future videos. I, I really appreciate that. Um, if you work for a company that would like to make this type of product, uh, t-shirts, shorts, um, 
anything from activewear all the way to terra clothing, outerwear, workwear. Uh, we have 22 factories in Vietnam. The company I work for is Aurora Investment Global, and we would be happy to produce for you. I'll leave my uh, contact details below the video, and you can uh, uh, reach out to me through there. In the meantime, dress smart, and thank you for listening.